Welcome back! So right now, we're going to talk about the growth and development of 0 to 12 months, or shall we call infant stage. There are four components that we need to observe in our children if they were able to um, develop this. Um, are their growth and development are doing within their age? So these are the four components that I also use as my determination or my my gauge as my child look is going up. So basically, these four components are social or emotional development, language and communication, third is cognitive, and first is your movement or your physical development, either gross or fine motor. So let's start with two months old. So here, I've printed out to you the tool that I used when I tried to observe Luke as he's growing. So, the baby is expected to have its first social or emotional contact with you. So, the baby at two months old will start to smile. They can briefly calm themselves and tries to look at their parent. And by their communication, I know it's quite fun at two months old because when you talk to your children, they try to make this sound, cooing sound, and then gurgling sound as well. So, if they are, if they want to agree on you, so they will be able to make the sound of poo. Or if they want to catch your attention, they're going to make this sound to communicate with you. And then, they always follow where you're going. Next is the cognitive stage. So, learning, thinking, and problem solving. So, you might say, huh, at two months old? Yes, they also solve because they will try to recognize you. They will be able to tell, they will try to register you in their brain and who you are. So they will pay attention to your faces. They begin to follow things with your eyes and recognize people at a distance. That's why they start to laugh. At this stage, we call them social smile. This, this is their first social smile at two months old. And then they begin to act bored, cries, fussy, especially if you don't talk to them. They are now starting to get your attention. By their physical development, at first babies, their first movement are your gross motor movement. So these are big movements. This is what you need to observe. So they can hold their head up and begins to push when lying down on their tummy. So that's why some of the pediatrician they always encourage their the, the parents or their mothers at two months old to have tummy time every day because it would help the child to develop his gross motor skills. You will be able to check if there is no more head log, if they can be able to move, um, carry themselves. So that's it. And make smoother movements with your arms and legs. Which of this, from, for the four components, all of this Luke was able to, to develop or I was able to observe it to Luke. Now, let's go to the next month, which is the fourth month. Maybe you're going to be asking, how about the three months? How about, why do you skip three months? Why, why do you go straight to four months? Because we always have to give um, layway or pace to our children. Because sometimes some, some children, they develop late, but they did not skip it. Okay, So we have to give time for them to develop it. Now, let's go to four months. So what are the things we need to expect based on those four components I mentioned earlier? So let's start with your social or emotional development. Um, the child smiles more spontaneously, especially at people, likes to play with people and might cry when playing stops. So they become more sociable. They copy movements and facial expression like smiling or frowning. This is the stage that we we have we got a lot of we get a lot of giggles from our babies. In the language, they start to bubble. That's why they like to play with their saliva. Bubbles with expression and copy sounds they hear. 
cries in different ways in order to show their emotions or to show their their needs if they're hungry if they just want to play with you so there is already um diversion um, there are the um how do you call that changes in the way this cry so you'll be able to determine it so if you were able to observe your child then you will know nah they're just fussy you just want to get their attention next is the cognitive lets you know if she is happy or sad of course response to affection if you hug them if you kiss them if you play with them you you um how do you call that um you tickle them they give you this um, reaction next is that reaches for toy with one hand they try to do that uses their hands and eyes together such as seeing a toy and reaching for it so basically what are the kinds of toys that we have to 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 offer to them at this stage um toys the what do you call that the solitary toys the toys that moves around so they like to do that and um, you also want to challenge them so you will gonna um, have a play gym there's a play gym for infants that you can be able to put a lot of things hanging and then they'll try to grab it next is follows moving things with eyes from side to side watches faces closely recognize familiar people and things as a distance so if at this stage even though they don't see you but if they can hear your voice then they know now oh you're coming it's my mom so they're gonna have they'll try to make this sound sometimes they cry they like a cry that um, asking or seeking for attention and then for the movement or physical development at four months old holds head steady and supported push down on legs when feet are on a hard surface may be able to roll over from tummy to back and then can hold a toy and shake it and swing it and dangling toys and then brings hands to mouth and when lying on stomach push up, push up elbows in order to what they try to get up you know that's that's at four months old so what are the things we need to watch out for doesn't watch things as they move doesn't smile at people at all can't hold head steady doesn't coo or make sounds to any stimulus given doesn't bring things to mouth doesn't push down with legs when feet are placed on a hard surface has trouble moving one or both eyes in all direction and basically at four months old luke was able to have all of this development let's proceed to baby at six months old so what do you why what are the things we need to expect from them at this point this is the stage we're in it's more fun um, your your daughter or your son becomes more um, sociable so for the social or emotional knows familiar faces and begins to know if someone is a stranger so we call this stranger anxiety it's, this is the time that child the, your child doesn't want to be cuddled with unfamiliar faces and then likes to play with others especially their parents or someone that are they, they recognize of then responds to people's emotions and often seems happy and they are fun of things that are moving and then they're um, they're trying to reach for them and then likes to look at self in the mirror so this stage if you put mirrors around you can see that the child will start to talk because they think that it is not them but they are starting to talk and they're um, they are playing on themselves through the mirror and then for the languages they respond to sound by making so many sounds then strings vowels together with bubbling like that and then they like taking turns with parents while making sounds they're now trying to be very um they want to exchange conversation response to own name when you call them make sounds to show joy and displeasure 
and begins to say constant sounds like jobbering with M and B. Mm, ba -ba 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 -ba, like that. So in a cognitive stage, the looks around at things nearby, brings things to mouth, show curiosity about things and tries to get things that are out of reach. That's why at this stage, they're also fond of reaching to their feet and putting their feet on their mouth. Because infant stage, we call them as oral stage. So they are, their ways of learning is by exploring using their mouth. And then, they move, they roll over in both directions, from, from tummy to back, from back to tummy. So they, they move frequently. And then begins to sit without support. And then, when standing, supports weight on legs and might bounce. And they rock back and forth, sometimes crawling backward before moving forward. So at this stage, I've noticed um, for Lou, he can roll, but he doesn't have that initiative to, to crawl. He can roll from tummy to back, back to tummy, but there's no initiative of like moving. If you're gonna put some toys in front of him, he's just gonna grab it, reach it, but I cannot see... Um, he's trying to really move in order to get the toy. So what are the things we need to watch out for? Doesn't try to get things that are in reach. So shows no affection for caregivers. So anyone can get. So they say, no, nah, this is a good child because he doesn't react when I when I get him. I'm, I'm, a fir I'm just a first time person to cuddle him, but it seems that he's okay. So sometimes we have to be curious about it. Why is the child like that? Because as what I've said, this is the stage wherein the child begins to have strangers anxiety. Next is, does it respond to sounds around him? Even though how hard you bang the door, they don't. Has difficulty getting things to mouth. Does it make vowel sound? Does it roll over? Does it laugh or make um, squealing sounds to any reaction no reaction at all seems very stiff and tight muscles and seems very fluffy like a rug dog but for Lou again it's what I've said earlier um, the only thing I observe is that he's not trying to crawl at this stage like um, really um, really pushing himself if he cannot reach it then that's it <laughs> Okay, now let's go to the nine months old. So basically, there are quite like three months apart from six months. So we have just to let the child develop at his own pace. We, have, we will be able to observe them. And then if there are some certain developments that needs to us parents to supply for them, then we have this seven, eight, and nine months gap, three months gap to help our child develop those um, component, um, those development that are not yet shown at six months. Okay, so at nine months old, socially or emotional, they become more afraid to strangers and very clingy to familiar adults and has a favorite toy. So for Luke at nine months old, I remember his favorite toy is the rappling toy, the one that has a a, a ball and there is um, a, like um, a sounding inside that like a ball and then when he's tried to rattle it it makes sounds and then he laughs a lot and then at nine months old also uh, when we play favorite music um, he's, he tries to hum with it and then he keeps on um, uh, what you call that he's feel um he seems so amused about it that he frequently smiles every time he he, he hears that music and when his dad um, sing at him he loves it so much and then he already understand the word no makes a lot of different sounds like mama and baba so Luke's first language is not mommy it's daddy da 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 that's his favorite word to say Copy sounds and gestures from others. So at this time, we are more on um, every day we let him play the close open, close open, clap your hands, and then close your eyes, 
So, sometimes we intentionally bang the door to see if he would react, what, what would be his reaction. So, basically, when we bang the door, um, he, will, uh, he will get shocked but laugh at it eventually. And then, use his fingers to point at things. And then, for cognitive, uh, watches the path of something as it falls. Yes, he likes the ball. We throw the ball, and then when it, he follows it, and then when it's dropped already on the floor, he smiles at it so, so much, as in so much. Then looks for things he sees that you hide. Then plays peekaboo. So, bah! This is the, this is the, the month that you always likes to play like that and then they laugh so much they giggle so much and it gives us very you know satisfaction as parents put things in their mouth yes a lot move things smoothly from one hand to another this is um uh looks is not well coordinated at this time before at this nine months i think ah it's just okay um he, he doesn't have very good control with with his hands with the movements in using her his hands so he's not good at it uh, when when we knew about his delays when and when i track back it is at nine months old that i found out and observed a lot of things that he was not able to develop and then what else are the, the normal moves things smoothly from one hand to another as what i've said and picks up things like cereals between thumbs and index fingers thumbs and index fingers so this is when the child tries to use his, his fine motor skills okay at this time i was not able that um i was not that curious because when we give him pancit this pancit is his favorite food he just pick it up but um, i'm not too keen in observing how he did it um i'm just contented that he's using your, his fingers getting the, the piece of pancit and put it in, inside his mouth and then stands and stands and holding on can get into sitting position sit without support pulls to stand then crawls all of this gross motor luke has a delay i remember that when we had his first photo shoot at 10 months old he cannot sit on his own um he was uh when we tried to let him sit down uh he suddenly uh fall fall back because he cannot support his back that is the time that i've noticed that there's something wrong with his gross motor skills and then when we try to let him stand up and then tries to walk around the edges of the bed he he's, he's wobbly so his posture his coordination at nine months old is not that sturdy at a nine month old so that's when i opted to buy a mat in the room and also outside the house and let him stay on the floor as much as he can and when he cries we will not pick it pick him up he has to try to go to the to the chair pull himself up for him to develop it because at nine months old he still is not a good crawler he cannot crawl and or crawl forward or call backward i need to train him i trained him um i guess from nine months to 11 month old i trained him to do that so we try to give him toys that he likes so that he will be encouraged to get it because i know that at nine month old kids are now trying to move around more frequently but for luke it does not happen so it's on the gross development at nine month old that i noticed that luke has a delay so what are the things that you need to watch out for so doesn't bear weight on legs with support which luke has doesn't sit with help which luke has as well doesn't bubble mom and baba which he does and then doesn't play any games involving back and forth play okay he engages but the problem is he cannot do it so we have to really help him do it we have to exercise it we will have to teach him how to 
um, use your right hand in coordination with your left foot, your right hand in coordination with your right foot, your right leg. So we have to teach him that for him to know how to do that. And then, doesn't seem to recognize familiar people, which he does because again, he like he likes to laugh. He like he's very he's very sociable. Luke is very sociable. And then doesn't look where you point and doesn't transfer toys from one hand to another. So again, he does recognize people, but he has um his fine motor skills are not that developed that he cannot easily transfer because when you try to transfer from the other, it falls down. So he cannot grab it from his other hand. So that's for nine months old. All right, so we are now on the last phase of the infancy, which is the infancy from zero to 12 months. So we are now on the 12 month or one year which is most of the parents or mothers basically are very excited because your child will turn one year right but um, despite the excitement we still have to continue observing them how they grow and how they develop things so first at one year old social and emotional they become so shy or nervous with strangers cries when mom or dad leaves which Luke started to develop this. We tried to tease him. Bye bye, Luke. Bye bye. And then he will cry. Whoa! And when he was still a baby, he's like a show pow. So we like to see him when he cries a lot. He um, has favorite things and people. Yeah, his favorite person is his Kuya Miloy. So he's always following his Kuya Miloy at one year old. But, okay. Shows fears in some situations. Um, at this stage, Luke is not that because maybe we, we are protecting him so much. So, he doesn't have a certain fear to certain things, but he has a fear of us leaving him. And then, hands you a book when he wants to hear a story. Yes, his favorite he, um, his favorite things is to um, bringing a lot of things to you. Uh, he crawls. Actually, he he already. What age was Luke uh, crawls? I, th I think that was um, nearly ten months old. He started to crawl. So, so at one year old, he crawls fast na. Then he then he tries to hold on things to get up or to go to near you to give you something. And then repeat sounds or action to get attention. Yes, very much. Puts out arm or leg to help with dressing, which he doesn't. Plays games such as peekaboo and pat a cake. Yeah, a lot. And then, in language, he responds to simple spoken requests. Uses simple gestures like shaking hand, no, no, waving, bye-bye. Yes, yeah, so much. He's, he's fun of doing this. Makes sound with changes in tone. Sounds more like speech. And then says mama and dada an exclamation like uh uh and tries to say words you said. Okay. So it tries to imitate, follows you, but cannot really give out the exact word. Mumbling, mumbling stage. But um, he says bye bye. No, mm, no, no, like that. And uh, but there's, he cannot say um, clearly the words, but you know that that is what it meant. And then, for the cognitive stage, explore things in different ways like shaking, banging, and throwing. Yes, he, he likes it when you throw a ball inside his crib, he will get it out, and he will throw it back to you. And when you didn't catch it, he will laugh so hard. And then finds hidden things easily. Looks at the right picture or thing when it's mean. Copies gestures. Start to use things correctly. For example, drinks from a cup, brushes hair. Okay, drinks from a cup, he did. Brushes hair, he follows but not the, the correct way. Alright? And then, brings two things together. Yes, he can do this now at one year old. Let's things go without help. 
not so. Pokes with index or pointing finger, yes, very. And follow simple directions like pick up the toy. This time, he can't do this one, but we always let him imitate until he follows it. So do not expect that um, right away they will do that. So for example, if you've read this, these are the guidelines, these are the criteria, and your child is not able to do that, the best thing you can do is help him, um, help him show him so that he can imitate and wait for it until all of a sudden, all of the sudden they will just do it for you. Okay, they will do it um, voluntarily without you helping them. So you have to really stimulate them. You have to, sh you, you have to model how to do it. Because for some other kids, they just learn instantly. But from, for some other kids, you have to show them how to do it. Now, movement or physical development. Gets to sit in position without help. Yes, he can do it. Pulls up to stand. Walks holding onto furniture. Like cruising. Yes, he can do it. May take a few steps without holding on, which he can. And may stand alone, which he can. Luke started to be independent in terms of standing up alone at one year and one to two months, but he starts walking on himself at one year and three months, which we really worked on. And when I told my husband that this is not, he has until three months that he has to learn how to walk. So by one year and one month, when I saw that he can uh, he can balance so well. I'm already alarmed. So I asked him to make a playpen, a bigger playpen, for him to cruise. Um, uh, uh, the area is more, ano ba, it's more wider. So he has a lot of opportunity to cruise around. And then when he tries to um, cross over, there are more greater steps that he can do it. And I'll tell you, the big playpen that we, that we built was the one who helped Luke walk at one year and three months. So that's all for the infant stage, which is from zero to 12 months or well, um, zero to 12 months or what we call as uh, the first growth and developmental milestone that we need to be uh, cautious about as parents. Okay, for more information, um, you will be able to put the, all the details in the description of this video and also the links on what what we use as our tool as a checklist for the growth and development of your children and the facilities that um, we enrolled look here in Dumaguete City. So look, it's your time. What will you say? Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button and like this video and, and share! And goodbye!